All right, so we're doing the Range Rover Sport HSE front wheel bearing. All right, I've had previous videos. If you go to my channel, it shows you how to get to this part. First thing I needed to do was remove my caliper. Two number 13s. Remove your caliper. Use your pry bar. Then we remove that retainer. It was a 21. 21 millimeter. 12 point. 21 millimeter 12 point. Two bolts. Holds on your retainer. Then you're gonna remove your rotor, which is held onto your hub right there. By T50 Torx. That bolt right there. Okay, once you remove that, get your rotor out of the way. Exposes your wheel bearing. I broke my axle nut loose. When the car was still on the floor with the tire on, I just popped the center cap out of the rim. This is a 32 millimeter for the axle nut. There's also a tab inside there. See the tab right there? Before you can break the axle nut loose, you'll have to bend the bolt. Just tap it back out. When it it comes from the manufacturer, the bolt's a little tapped in, so you can use a hex point and tap it back out. 32 millimeter breaks it loose. You don't have to take it all the way out until you get the car in there. Then you move over here to your wheel speed sensor. It's a number 10. Actually, I'm sorry, actually it's a number 8. Right there. You want to take that out so you can move your wheel speed sensor out the way. Because once you start to tap this from the back, the wheel bearing, you don't want to damage that sensor. So we're going to take that out. Okay, so I have your wheel speed sensor up and out of the way right there. Now behind your wheel bearing, there's four number 15s, two on each side. Two there, which you can see I've already started to take them out. And two there, number 15 millimeter. You will have to turn the wheel back and forth to get the two top bolts out because of how close they are to the axle. But we're going to take those bolts out all the way now. As you can see our hub starting to separate. I'm going to take my axle nut off all the way also. Okay, so I've got all my bolts out. Axle nut off. Now you're going to... I started to tap it down first just to get it to break the seal from in here. And now you're gonna hit it on both sides. Tap it here and here with a hammer until you can get the hub out. Okay, I used the back of the hammer and kind of pushed the axle in to free it up from the wheel bearing. And now I'll have my wheel bearing out. As you can see, there's two sides of it, which will show you how to line it up when you're gonna reinstall the new one. Okay, and as you can see, if you listen closely, build bearing's definitely no good. So that's the Range Rover Sport. Wheel bearing replacement. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, hit that like button. See you next time.